Hello everybody and welcome to Freakin' Art. I'm your friend and host Anastasia Zielinski and I am so excited about today's class. We're going to be talking about positive and negative space and making our very own prints. That's right. Today we're going to be making some leaf prints. So go ahead and find yourself some leaves from outside. I got a bunch of different random ones here. If you don't have any leaves, you can always find some cool things with texture that the adults don't mind you painting on or cut out your own shapes. So what is positive and negative space? Well, in art, positive space would be where the actual image that you want to focus on is. Like here we have the leaves. That would be our positive space and the negative space would be around those leaves. You can also do the same thing and have negative space be your focus. So here we have where the leaves aren't. So that's going to be the negative space creating our image. Now to illustrate this a little bit better, I'll just cut out a little heart right here and show you. So the heart, that's going to be my positive space. Sticking on a piece of paper here to really illustrate it. So this, our heart in this image is making, is our positive space is making up the image of the heart and the negative space is all around it. Here, it's the opposite. The negative space is making up the image of the heart. So you can see the negative space where there isn't any color is making up the image of this, the heart. We're going to need some paint. I'm working with one family color. I'm working with some fall colors of yellow, orange, and red. And they're all in the same family of colors because they're right next to each other on that color wheel there. Isn't that cool? So we're going to need our paint. Um, some leaves, and if you don't have leaves, doesn't mean you can't do this project. You can cut out your own shapes with some cardboard, and maybe you have some cool things around your house with good texture that's okay that you paint on, and we can do prints with that. So we got our leaves, we got our paint. You're going to need a paintbrush and some water, paper towel cleanup. Um, I'm going to be using popsicle sticks to get my paint out of those containers so I don't get them all muddy. And if you have a palette, that's awesome. If you don't, you could use a plate or some cups. Some paper, maybe a couple pieces, because if you don't have that many leaves, you can always put your wet leaves on top of a piece of paper or newspaper. Um, I'm going to be using black paper to do my positive shape prints because I thought it looked really cool. So if you have colored paper, that's awesome. But you know what? White paper works great too. I think that's all the things. Paint, leaves, paintbrush, water, paper towel, palette, popsicle sticks. We're good. <laughs> okay, let's do a little stretch and breathing so we can be super focused on our awesome creations we're gonna make today, okay? So everybody, let's breathe in. And breathe out. Let's do that one more time. Let's breathe in. And breathe out. Let's roll our shoulders back. And now let's see if we can roll them forward. And let's stretch out those fingers. Oh. Oh. Okay. I feel great and focused and ready to go. I hope you do too. So let's start by doing our negative space painting with our leaves. It'd probably be easier if you work right on the table and lay down your leaves, how you want your composition to look. So that's how we're arranging everything in there. It'd be easier to paint that way. I'm gonna go ahead and do it up above, or at least try to, so you can see what I'm doing better. So I got 
my easel ready. I got some leaves I want to work with. Got a good variety here from the park. Now I'm going to put some of my paint on my palette. And like I said, I'm going to use a little popsicle stick to get, maybe I'll just even try to dump a little bit out. Since I'm going to be using a couple different colors, I don't want to dip my paintbrush in there and possibly get the yellow all muddy with the red and the orange because then I'll be really sad next time I try to use yellow and it's really just orange instead of yellow. Well, that would be disappointing. Okay, I got some yellow. I got my orange out. And you can use whatever colors you want. I was just going with our fall leaf theme here with my color choices. But really, it's whatever makes you happy. It's your artwork. It should look like your artwork. Okay. The red in here. There we go. So now I got my family of colors here. The yellow, orange, and red. So I got warm fall colors I'll be using. Negative space leaf painting first so again where the paint isn't is what's creating that shape of the leaf and i'm going to be painting so the smooth side of the leaf is down just in case i don't have enough leaves to do my prints because so when we do the positive space we really want to use that really textured side so we can get that cool texture on our paper so just start wherever you want you could do as, as many or as few leaves as you want. It's up to you. And again, if I was doing this at home, I would probably do it like this. And put it on the table. Arrange my leaves so they look really nice how I want them to be. Ooh, that looks good. Yeah. But... And then I would hold them down and paint around them. But I want you to see what I'm doing. So I'm going to do it up here. So, so it might look a little bit different than what you're doing at home. So you could do one leaf at a time. Or you could put all your leaves down at once. So you know what your composition. How you're arranging those leaves on your page. You know that it's a composition that you love. So I'm going to start with this pretty leaf here. We'll just start right here in the corner. And now I don't want my paintbrush to be too wet because I don't want the paint drip. So I'm going to clean it off of the water real good. And maybe I'll start with some yellow. Now I'm just using one finger to hold down my leaf and I'm going to paint right over top of it. Now again, if you wanted to arrange it all at once, you could always use a little bit of tape to keep it down if you didn't want to get your fingers messy. But I mean, half the fun of making art is getting a little bit messy, I think. This yellow burst here. And I'm going to go ahead and bring my paint all the way to the corner. So we can touch those edges of the piece of paper. Okay, now I'm going to put this off to the side again. Maybe you want some newspaper down or another piece of paper so you're not getting paint all over your table. I have a really dirty table and it already has a lot of paint all over it, so it's not a big deal. <laughs> okay, I'm going to choose my next leaf. I like this guy right here, so I'm going to put him here. I'm going to clean off my brush, make sure it's pretty dry, and I'm going to go with the orange this time, so I'm holding it down. Again, you could tape this. And I'm going right over, right over there. And I'm kind of doing a nice little brushy blending onto the yellow so it's not a hard line. But that's not a big deal. That's really up to you if you want it to be some hard lines of colors right up against each other. If you want it to be more blended and smooth together. That is artist discretion right there. That means your choice. Wow. Put this leaf over here. Let's see. Next, we'll get maybe a teeny tiny one. And again, I'm putting the smooth side down. 
because on the leaves you can see there's a smooth side and then there's that more textured bumpy side. And just in case I want to use the same leaves again, I'm putting the smooth side down. And I'm going to go for the red right at the top here. The teeny weeny little leaf. I'm going right over that leaf with my paint and my paintbrush. And I'm bringing that red down so I'm kind of blending it a little bit. It's not super smooth, but that's okay. I think it looks really nice just the way it is. And I'm bringing that paint all the way to the top edge and the side edge there. And I got my petite leaf. So I got three here. I want to fill up my whole page, so I'm going to do some more. Let's play around with this. Go crazy, guys. And let's go for it. Oh, I almost painted that the wrong way. Texture side up. Texture side up, friends. Ha! Whoa. That edge is a little bit not defined, but I'm not going to let it bother me. I live in Seattle. We get a lot of rain here, especially in the fall. So my leaves outside were pretty damp when I picked them up but I have this cool trick and I just put them in a paper bag overnight and they dried out real nice. Um, they might get curly cue when you do that so another thing you could do is lay them out and put a book on top of them and that way they'd be nice and flat before you decide to use them in your art project. But you can also see this is curling up, but it's not ruining my negative shape of the leaf there at all. So it's not a problem. It's just a preference. What makes you happy, you know? If you think it's less frustrating to work with flat leaves, that's fine. The other thing I noticed <laughs> is that if my leaves were really dirty, I was getting the dirt and the paint. So if that's going to bother you, maybe you want to wipe them off just real gently first, but it's up to you. You can always just play around first and see what you like and what you don't like and what's totally frustrating and what's totally awesome and then do another piece, you know? As long as you have the paper and the paint, why not? Okay, I was going to pick this one. This one's cute and little. Like its little tail right there. We're going to put it in here and we're going to do the yellow again. Now, I would love to see these negative space fall leaf paintings you're doing. So you could share that with me. You could either add a picture in the comments below. You could send me an email. You could tag me on Instagram. You could actually send me your artwork and snail mail. That would be totally awesome. Because then we could all look at it together and see what wonderful artists you guys are and talk about your awesome leaf negative space paintings online. Got room for a couple more leaves here. I'm gonna try this fern. We'll see how this works out. See, I'm already getting dirt on it. <laughs> now, sometimes it's frustrating when the leaves move around. So I find it's easier if you do it in sections kind of going with the natural shape of the leaf. Now these ferns have a really cool bumpy texture on the back of the leaves. I can't wait to see what that looks like when we print it. Voila! That looks awesome! It works so well! <laughs> okay, I'm going to fill in this little hole here. Let's see, I have room for one or two more leaves. Maybe? Maybe I'll be fancy and I'll do it in orange and yellow. So I'm going to do orange at the top, and again, I'm bringing it up and kind of blending it in over here. Clean off my brush again. I'm going to do some yellow here at the bottom. And it looks like I have a blob of red paint here at the bottom, so I'm going to get some yellow turning into orange and red. Woo! So fancy! Voila! Look at that! Uh, I think that looks really nice. It might actually... I like it this way better. There we go. That composition works much better for me. But look, you can see all those 
negative space is where all those leaves were, leaving this really nice fall colored picture with the impression of those leaves. Can't wait to see yours. Now, let's do the printmaking part. So and I'm gonna use black paper because I thought it looked super cool when I tried it earlier. But uh, you can use white paper. You could use like red paper, blue paper, green paper, whatever floats your boat, you know? Now this time, we're gonna put the paint down on the textured side. So where you see that stem and all the little veins of the leaf, we're gonna put the paint on that and then rub it real nice on the paper so we get the texture of those leaves. This is gonna be our positive space printmaking part. So I'm gonna use some of the leaves I already have. So this one has some red on it. Just to show you, in case you didn't collect too many leaves, you can use the same leaves. I'm putting the paint. And now you don't wanna do the paint too thickly, just a nice thin coat on there. And again, you don't want it to be watery. So make sure your brush doesn't have a bunch of extra water on it and just put a nice thin layer of paint on there. And then you're gonna figure out where you want it on your piece of paper. I'm gonna go with this corner. And then you're gonna rub it. Now I think it's helpful to rub in the direction of those little veins in the leaf. But I don't think it makes that big of a deal. I'm just using my finger. I'm doing one, a, a nice once over, maybe twice over. And we'll pull that off. Voila, we got our first leaf print. Our first positive face leaf print. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the one that has the yellow and the orange paint on it. And I'll just keep with that and do both yellow and orange. Yeah, so it has a nice once over coat on it. Now I'm gonna figure out where I want it on my composition here. I'm just placing it down, and again, I'm using my finger to gently, but firmly, press the leaf down, and I'm rubbing my fingers along these little sections in between the veins here to make sure the paint goes down on that paper. Ooh, that one looks so good. Yeah, I'm happy with that one. That one looks good. Okay, so just keep on going to your heart's content. Again, you can do as many or as few as you want. You could overlap them. Totally up to you. I think I'm going to give everything a little bit of space to start. Just so I can really see the cool, unique shapes of each leaf. Let's see what the fern looks like. Now this one might be a little bit more tricky to when I'm actually trying to print it because it has so many little different parts. Because like, it's a fern. But we'll see. I have faith in myself. And I have faith in you. So, I'm going to move this over. Oh, look at that. It's a cool little dig of space leaf I got over there. <laughs> okay. Let's see where I can fit this. Now I'm going to hold it with my one hand and then use my other my finger on my other hand to press down those leaves and try not to smudge the paper with my painted fingers here. Well, that's probably going to be the hardest part about the whole thing, honestly. Because I'm a pretty messy artist. Peel it off real gently. <gasps> that looks pretty good. Maybe we'll have to try another one. Oh, I got some room for a couple more leaves on here. I think I'll use the yellow because I really like how bright the yellow looks on this black paper. And again, I'm using, putting the paint on the side that's really textured. So I got a little bit of paint. You don't want to put too much on because you can tell when there's, when there's a lot of paint, it's kind of like a little blob. So then you miss all that beautiful texture of your leaf. But you know, just experiment. 
see what works with you because you know all the different paints you have are going to be different and all the leaves you have are going to be different so just play around try not to get stressed if you get stressed take a deep breath and try again so this one's a little bit drier than my other leaves I was working with so it's a little bit more fragile might crack that's okay. Just got to be gentle with it. That looks nice. Looks nice. Maybe the more supple leaves work a little bit better. But hey, I'm not going to complain about that mark. It looks good. So far, this big one's my favorite. Now, as you can see, my hands are very messy right now. But it's not bothering me because this is washable paint and I'll just wash my hands afterwards. I'm just trying to be careful and not put extra smudges on everything. Okay, so I got my orange. Whoa. And then we're going to put this guy here. And I'm just using my finger to gently rub all along the leaves. Ha! Oh, that one's really pretty. I don't know if you can see it. It's pretty delicate. Well, I think that looks beautiful. Okay, I've got a little bit more room here. I'm going to fill up my page. Just because it feels like it's a little bit lopsided. Like if it was sitting like this, it would just be like, Oh, I'm heavy. I'm falling down. So I'm going to try to balance it out. Maybe I'll go ahead and turn it so you can see what I'm doing. Oh, and it gives me a different perspective of my composition. How cool is that? So, let's see. I really like this big one. Maybe I'll do it again. Why not? Why not? It worked like a charm. I think I'll do that two-tone effect again, too, because it looks beautiful on there. So, we'll start with the yellow. If you're going to do... Two or even three colors, I think it's easier to start with the lighter one with your paintbrush. And then blend into the darker one because it's always easier to go from light to dark than it is to go from dark to light. That's just how that works. Okay, I got some yellow on there. Now I'm going to put a little bit of orange on the tip there. And it doesn't have to have whole leaf on there. Like if I get most of it on there, I think that's exciting too so we'll try it right it'd be right here okay so some of it's hanging off but i'm not gonna let that get me down i in fact like when you have the objects in your composition going off the page i think it makes it more interesting but if you're doing this on your table, it might also make more of a mess. So, you know, maybe work with some newspaper. Okay, let's see how that looks. Bam! That looks good. <laughs> let's see. I really like this delicate one. I think I'll try it with some red and see if we can get another print of it. Ooh. Okay. Such a pretty leaf. It has these really beautiful edges here. The nature is just so gorgeous. And I'm going to pop this one. I'm going to overlap it a little bit. Just tad. Pop it right there. Oh yeah, that looks good. Let's see what we got going on here. Get some more yellow. I don't feel like I have enough yellow on this piece yet, so. I'm just going to add a little bit more. It might turn out orange because there was orange on this first. And that's how color mixing goes, but you know. Not going to let it get me down. Ah. Let's see if I need anything else. Let's take a look. It's pretty good. Uh, I just wanted a little something right here, I think. It's just a little something, maybe a little something yellow right there. Just little, little, little. 
Make sure it's not too watery because you can see when there's too much water, it's hard to see the color. Ta-da! I'm calling that done. I think it looks great. So, here's our sweet, positive space leaf print with all those beautiful fall colors of yellow, orange, and red. I think it looks really nice. I'm pretty happy. I think it'd go a lot of ways to be good. And then we have our lovely negative, I think this one looks best this way, lovely negative space leaf painting. And I thought that was an awesome activity. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I can't wait to see what you made, so please tag me on Instagram, send me some stale mail, or post a picture in the comments, okay? If you liked today's class, please like, and subscribe, and share with your friends. It really helps me keep on creating these fun art classes for you guys. Well, thanks so much for making art with me today. I hope you enjoyed it. I sure did. I'll see you next week, okay?